Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here, Peterson Electric, uh, doing a video for you. It's August 2023. Our new 23 code came out uh, in June 1st. Most cities and counties have adopted it in the state of Colorado. Um, I don't know about you in other states. Some of the other states or counties seem like they're stuck in the 2017, but uh, that means we're two additions ahead of them. Our cities never seem to lag. They always adopt the new code right away. Um, so anyway, so today I want to talk about a swim spa for my SEO guide to label this. Um, most swim spas are either a double 50 amp service or a 50 amp service that does a hydraulic pump to swim. This is the first hy hydro massage hot tub I've seen. Very large, but it only has one 50 amp service tricky when you come to a bid to bid it because if you take the panels off like this was used and it's cracked I don't want to get blamed for cracking something if I didn't get the bid even if I did get the bid so um, without the proper instructions it's kind of hard to know sometimes what you're up against um, but I have gone to a few spas where the service on the house was a hundred amp and they needed about 90 amp for the swim spa in fact, I went to a hot, uh, two places three weeks ago that two electric car jobs I had to basically tell them, you had to upgrade your service. They had two other electricians give them the runaround. So it's not that the electrician really was honest or knew what he was doing. But if you have $100 in your checking account and you take out $90, if I want to create a dollars as, uh, as amperage, you only have 10 amps left for your home. An average home on an average day runs about 27 to 40 amps. And that's gonna be with one AC running until you kick on your oven and then you might be up to 70 amps. I'm talking a little loud guys just because there's traffic back here. But just to let you know, if you only have 100 amps, that's all you got. And so mini splits compete at night when you're sleeping and air conditioning units. It's not a video on ACs, but AC units like I had one yesterday, the AC guy came out and said, oh yeah, it's all fine. It's it's the breaker. When I put my inrush current clamp, my fluke meter that was 650 bucks, that thing caught right then and there 273 amps for it to start. The normal inrush current, well, the full, load, full running amperage was 28. The maximum breaker size was 40. It could be 200 to 300% value, guys, and that means that maybe it's 90 amps to kick on, but this thing was taking almost 670% to kick on. Of course, that little 10,000 amper stab type, arc, or uh, just a standard breaker, uh, the hacker type was just not, it, it went out inside, the contacts burnt up. So we broke open the breaker and saw that it was burnt up. Now, listen, swim spas and hot tubs, people don't get in them all the time. But in the winter, if the cover isn't sealed, like you shutting your back door, or you got leaks in your windows and doors, the furnace always stays on because the thermostat's never satisfied. The most important thing about a hot tub is to have a closed cover and make sure it seals. Um, the other side of it is to make sure, you know, in the tub, I would say that the heater, the 4,000 watt element, only lasts about 10 years to 12 if you're lucky in Colorado with all of that um, uh, hard water that seems to solidify around those connections. Anyways, guys, um, keep in mind, again, if you have 100 amp, that's all you have. You got to upgrade. But Loveland and Fort Collins are no longer bringing power to your home to upgrade to 200 amp. They'll charge you a fee to direct bore to get it to the edge of your sidewalk, and then we have to charge you to trench it and we don't know if there's gas, water, sewer, fiber, Comcast, any of that underground right there. There could be an air conditioning right in front of the AC and sprinkler systems on top of it. So there's a lot of things that go into it, guys. Uh, most people want an average price to upgrade to 200 amp. It's been in the, it's been in the area of 13 to $20,000, but the city can charge 3,500 to 5,500 to direct bore a pedestal to the side of your house, or I'm sorry, not the house, but the edge of the driveway. But you could have a gigantic pine tree or your neighbor's tree's roots are in the way. Anyways, so this right here, guys, he already had a 125 amp breaker here. This is a main lug panel. It's a number two aluminum, though, so you really shouldn't have more than 100. 
but what's feeding it is a hundred amp so it's okay if it's it's this size right here it's basically just a disconnect in protecting what's below it now right here we've gone ahead this was already ran for us ahead of time he did ask us to trench down so we pull back the grass i went down with my boys about 18 inches we only went about six foot but we wanted to be deep enough that nothing would hit it if he decides to do some new sprinklers. And then we're going to put some direct burial tape right there about six inches. And then he asked us to tap it here and come in. I'll show you the sweet spot. We have a hot tub. I finally got one last year after 22 years of wiring them, and I'm glad I did. Mine's 575 gallon. This thing, I want to say, is probably closer to 850 gallon. It's a pretty big spa. Really what it is, is they call it a swim spa, but it's probably more therapeutical than anything with the jets, but the heater still has to keep up with it. So all the jets are here. So we looked on this side and this side to verify there wasn't a second control box. But there's nothing. There is connections over here and braces to actually have that, but this model didn't have it. So right over here is where we came into our port. The one controversial thing is that if a man is servicing a piece of equipment, is it within sight? Javen turns around. Technically, it is within sight. Now, if, if the disconnect's over there and isn't within sight, but if I'm closer than five foot to the inside edge of the hot tub, then what do I do? I can't really put a disconnect over here. Now, we could wire the disconnect to there and go under there, but then look, I've got all that cement and they don't want to trip on it. So it's not sometimes you just show up and the tub's already set and what do you do or they have a position the way they want it but this is actually six and a half foot to the inside edge of the tub so this is good there is no other outlet within 10 foot there is an outlet over there right behind that barbecue so it's not further than 25 foot again i have no idea why you have to have a 120 volt outlet for a hot tub everybody has drills and sockets that'll just take it out makes no sense to me on that 120 volt now an ac unit i do understand that for the ac guys anyways guys right here inside this is it it's just a simple connection but it only has one 4000 watt heater it's it's a four wire and basically i was looking for a second control box like this to wire it. and there's not there is three pumps right here right in a row and they're all grounded and we tightened up those connections now you know sometimes these grommets go out so we don't know if it's going to trip the gfi but we can't turn it on until it's full so we might be here another hour just waiting but this is kind of the connections we do and this is how we get it when we show up to bid it they actually told us the connections were over there they were actually over here so before i pull wire i went to both sides and all three sides and checked is there any other connections that i need to know because there wasn't any instructions on some of this anyways guys thanks for joining us uh, hopefully that will help you out just so you know this guy did have 150 amp on his house and i was more than happy if i had to run 90 amps on 150 but i did warn him i'm in the air conditioning units during the summer since he's using it during the summer that ac units they don't like to be more than 10 years without a new start run capacitor kit or the motor starts lock rotoring how you know that you turn your ac on and all your lights start dimming thanks guys for joining us have a good day